Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can create modal in React Native. And let me show you uh, like what we will achieve at the end of this video. So here you can see that uh, we have a modal. So if we will just click on the close modal, modal will be closed. And if I just click on the open modal, modal will be open. So even you can create a custom modal also in React Native via style sheet. But in this video, we will use React Native default component modal and in upcoming part i'll tell you that how you can create your own uh, modal without uh, default component all right so what we need for that first of all we have to import button and modal after that we have to add some style to the button so that we can fix this button at the bottom and we can uh, just provide some shadow and uh, like uh, uh, some style to the modal so we have to just add style sheet and after that with the help of state we will show and hide and at last we will cover some important interview questions also so now we can start with code so guys this is our app.js component and file so here you will write our code related to that modal and i am hiding this explorer so that we have more area to write code and here we will check our output on the emulator okay so first of all we need a button so i am just putting their button and you need to import it from react native right after that you can just put some title there let's say open modal and here you can see that button is actually placed on the top of our screen so how we can just uh, fix in the bottom uh, let's import the style sheet so that we can write our uh, old style there so style sheet and now i can create a constant uh, styles from style sheet dot create and now let me just apply some style on the top view so let me add style styles dot main all right so what i can simply do that uh, let me create a object with the name main and uh, let me just provide flex one simply all right and i want to create a wrapper of this button because as we know we cannot apply style directly on the button that's why i need a wrapper there right so i'm creating a wrapper for this and i'll put the button inside it and i am putting the name of this uh, wrapper is let's say style is styles dot uh, button view or any else other name if you want to use then you can use no issue and now you just you just need to put the two properties flex one after this just put their justified content and choose flex and and let's save it now you can see that button is actually coming in the end due to that flex okay even there is a, some more option also if you want to like, let me show you so if you want to just on the start space around you can use any property there there is a lots of property even we want to show at the end that's why we use the flex end perfect and after that uh, on the click of this modal we want to open a modal right on the uh, press of this button we want to open a modal so we have to import a modal there and after importing a modal let me just place it before the button or you can just place it after the button also and if you will just save it you will find that the complete screen is actually uh, white reason being because modal has its uh, background color right white background color so if you want to make it uh, transparent then you can use let's say just simply use transparent property and just put there uh, true and now you can see that your modal is transparent and you can see the bottom uh, modal but you cannot click it uh, i mean to say you cannot press it because still modal is on the complete screen uh, even this is a transparent but still this is on the complete screen all right so now let's come to uh, inside the modal and put some view so firstly i want to create a style a view with the style and that will be actually a container of modal right so you can use any style name to it let's say styles dot um, center view you can see that so that we can just make 
take uh, the modal in a center after that let's take one more view and uh, even you can take another another name of this style is let's say styles dot mm, modal view is fine right modal view and now let me add the style for these two things okay so firstly i am adding style for uh, uh, this center view and uh, first we need to have to put just make it flex one so that it could be flexible with the style and we can add other flex properties just say justify content could be in the center but there is a no content so maybe you are not able to see that so let me add some content there firstly i can add a text and here you can say that hello code step by step and here you will find that the content is not there because we have to import this text component first and here we have that uh, text in the center but if you remove this justify content property that will be on the top not in center so that's why i use that flex and after that you can just simply say that align the item again center so that you can just um, center in the it in the uh, left to right and top to bottom perfect so even we can add some uh, style to this text also and we need a button also right so let me add a button also again then the title of this button could be let's say close modal and let's add some style to this text and we can put name let's say modal text not modal text it will be modal text and now let's uh, add their modal text font size could be let's say 20 yep and uh, we can put some margin bottom also let's say 20 perfect but still actually this is not look like a modal right we have to just add some shadow or something so that we can i can show you like this is actually the uh, modal so now let's use that uh, modal view and in this style we have to now put uh, firstly background color let's say you are putting background color is is orange i'll change it within a moment but for a moment let's make it uh, orange right and after that you can just simply put the border property but why this color is not visible there let me just refresh this application still no color let me try with any other color also no luck uh, none of color is not working let me check ah sorry guys actually i need to put their style not styles so let me save it and now you can see that we have uh, red color there right so what i'm going to do now i am just making it again orange you can see that right and uh, after that let's add some other thing also let's say padding we can add so let me add padding mm, 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 35 pixel perfect and uh, next thing that we can do let's say we can add the border radius and uh, it could be 20 all right and last thing which is uh, show shadow shadow color we can say that right shadow color could be let's say black and uh, one more thing to just apply this shadow color we have to use elevation so let's add their elevation also elevation could be let's say five 
save it and all right now we have the shadow also there and let's i just wanted to show that like uh, we can use any color otherwise i would like to put there only white color and this is look like a proper um, dialog box now right but we cannot close it for a moment right to just hide or close what we need to do there we need a property with the name of visible and if i'm just making it false then you can see that this is invisible or if you just make it true then this is visible so i will use a state there let's take a state const and let's say just put the name show modal and set show modal for update this state and you can use use state by default value could be false because by default i want to hide this uh, modal right so show modal what what show modal has value for a moment false it has so i am just putting this value and this is invisible so how we can just uh, visible now use on press event and on this on press let's simply use set show modal true and if i will click over there on open modal here you can see that we have a hello uh, step by step but how we can close it same we can just use this event from there to close modal button and uh, just make it false so if we, i just click on the close modal this is closed we can open and close we can do both thing right so in interview two things things can be asked first thing is how we can use the animation with the modal which is not uh, just applied there simply use there a uh, animation type property and uh, there you can use uh, three properties three values to it uh, fade slide or none i am putting there slide so now you will find that if i am just closing and opening it this is sliding from the bottom right second thing could be asked like can we create a custom modal in uh, react native yes we can do that also with the help of style sheet and in upcoming video we definitely do that so thanks for watching this video and i'll request you to watch uh, uh, this complete playlist and uh, if you did not just subscribe my channel yet then please subscribe like this video and share your feedback in comment section also this is my ptm donation number thank you guys